a bunch of new bearings. And these are little tiddly bearings. And I'm going to fit these new bearings, hopefully, to the EQ5 Pro. So the little bearings in these will go on the drives and this bearing will fit in the right ascension. I'm not going to change the thrust bearing at the bottom because I don't believe you can get similar ones easily. So I'm only going to hopefully change this one, but the right ascension on this mount isn't too bad. So I'm hoping this will make it even better, but the declination is pretty awful. Now the only bearings that I can change on the declination are these little tiny bearings. So that's the little tiny bearing and there's two per axis. So I'm going to fit these and hopefully that should maybe improve the tracking on this mount. Also, I'm going to clean all of the grease and all of the axes, strip the whole thing down and we're going to re-grease with some new grease. So I've got some new grease here and it's multi-purpose silicon grease, which is good down to minus 50, which I think will do if this is going to do the job or not. So I'm going to use that silicon grease and hopefully this will improve the guiding on this mount. It doesn't actually move really, that should just fall down and be so smooth, but it's really quite stiff. So I'm going to take all of this apart. There you go, that's the first axis removed. You can already see, it tries to hold that up and you listen very carefully. You can see the backlash between these gears, so that could be improved quite a lot. This is good, this is what I wanted to find out. Is there backlash? And we've confirmed that there is. Now the worm gear looks lovely and clean. And there's a good reason why it's lovely and clean, and that's because I cleaned the worm gear recently and I re-greased it recently, so I'm going to take this opportunity to do all of that again, because I only did the worm. And I'm going to replace this saddle with a new saddle, which is hopefully going to improve things even further. Now, I don't know if you can see on this here, but I've got a bearing in there and a bearing in there. And these little bearings, are going to be the ones which replace those particular ones. Say hello, Uncle Tony. Hello, Andy. How are we? Very well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks. Does it feel alright, Sir Darren? Yeah, it's good. It's like new. Andy, why do you want to change it? Just to renew it, really. Yeah, but nothing wrong with that. Because otherwise it'll feel gritty and, you know, bumpy and, you know. I mean, there's no, look, there's no play in it. I know about bearings. There's no play in it. I fit a lot of bearings in uh, machinery. Um, so, you might find that when we put that in, I mean, this will just tap out and you just tap the other in. Easy. But... I don't think you're going to see... I mean, take the... Are you, can you send that back? Or you think That's fine, I'll keep it. That's right, fine. open that up and you'll get the fill. Fill this one and then fill that one. Then you tell me what the difference is. And I'll get a paper tissue in a minute to get rid of all this silicon off my fingers. Oh, you can't do that, eh? Anything, that one feels better. Well, this is new, obviously, so... So the way you... I mean, you, you just move them up and down. And then you know, get your fingers in there and just feel it. You, you'll just if there's any roughness in there, you'd feel it. Andy, I think you're replacing that for like 
I mean, is it not worth done? Well, for what you what what you're trying to get out of it, it's not going to make any difference. It's like changing one screw and putting a different screw in. So let's go back to basics. Why did you want to change the bearing to get better you... quality bearings in there? Right. You're not going to. That's not it. You're not going to do any of that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the other one. Oh, there's no harm in changing this. I'm not, I think these ones would be a good exercise. These ones are easy. Well, I think this has improved. Hmm? I think that's improved. Well, there was one that was a bit... There was one that was a bit rough. That's the existing saddle, and this is the new ADM saddle, which I'm going to be fitting, which looks amazing. So I'm going to fit this now. And here is the finished mount with the new saddle which is looking very cool indeed. I also took the opportunity to change these bolts just here with longer ones so that it's easier to polar align with these but the new saddle is really nice and I'm very pleased with it. The guiding on the mount has been improved it's interesting because I only changed the bearings in the little housings that are here for the worm gears. There's one here and obviously there's one hiding inside there as well. So I didn't change the one which is actually on the right ascension because Uncle Tony, who helped me with this, said that the one in here was absolutely fine and didn't need changing. So I'm not going to change something that doesn't need changing. He said it was fine. So the mount has been stripped, re-greased and is working very well as you can see from this particular guiding curve. I'm very pleased. There we go. So I've now got my EQ5 Pro refurbished with some new bearings, a new saddle, new grease and it's guiding really well.